Hello, this is Bill Vernon, your Keller Williams agent for the Central Texas area, and this is a market report for the Colleen Harker Heights area. And so if you're interested in what's going on in Colleen and Harker Heights and Bell County in general, uh, this is a great video for you. So let's get started. So what we're going to be looking at is the Colleen Harker Heights and Bell County Housing Report, which is provided by the Texas uh, Realtors. Um, formerly known as the Texas Association of Realtors. Uh, and so here we go. Let's take off. This uh, information is uh, gathered up off the MLS by uh, A&M. And we're going to dive into Colleen first off for September 2021. So uh, the sweet spot, I always call it the sweet spot of the bat, where most of the houses are moving. And that's from a hundred grand to a one ninety nine. 46.9% of the houses that were sold um, were sold at that price. Um, not a distant uh, uh, one that's running is 200 to about uh, 299. Uh, that is 39.1%. And anything um, between 300 grand to 400 grand is about 10% uh, of the sales in, in Colleen. So the medium uh, uh, sales price compared to September 2020 has gone up 24.5%, with active listings going up 36.7% um, for 149 in September 2021. Uh, closing sales are up 46.8% to 342 in September of 2021. Uh, and so the days on market is kind of interesting um, because we're looking at 10 days less than in September of 2020 at 51. So the average house um, from days on market to the days of close is about 51. Um, 19 days on the market, which uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, none of my houses stay on that long, it's a long time. Um, to closing date, which is 32 days, which is roughly true. I'm going to tell you, it's good. We're probably going to see some extending in that because of appraisals or we're having appraisal issues. Months of inventory, aka the absorption rate, was uh, compared uh, to 2020 was 0.5. In other words, roughly in half a month, uh, all if we, if we didn't put another house on the market, uh, we would be sold out. In, in half a month, okay? Um, not so quick, that has actually increased a big number, 0.6. So roughly again, in, in about a half a month in Colleen, if we stop putting everything on the inventory, it's still a seller's market to the extreme. So that's what's going on in Colleen. Let's go look at Harker Heights housing report. So again, we're talking about September 21. Um, the sweet spot of the bat there is going to be in the 200 to 299, where 45.9% of the houses were sold uh, in, in that um, price range. Then the 300 to uh, 399, that was 25.7% of the houses sold. And in the 400 to uh, half a million, that's 16.2%. So that's what's going on in Heights with an increase of 23.3% over the uh, prices, uh, the median price in 2020, um, which is at $289,750. Uh, uh, how does it come out? $289,750. There we go. <laughs> Big numbers, Bill can't handle them, right? Um, so let's go on. Activi uh, active uh, listings were up. 2.6%, 39 uh, of those in September of 2021, with uh, closed sales up versus uh, last year up 11.6% for 77 units were sold. Um, again, days on market, 12 days less than in September 2020. So months, uh, days on market, 27 days to close, 34 for a total of 61. Again, if you're hanging out with me, we're gonna do a lot better on those numbers. But here's interesting now, uh, months on inventory is, uh, or the absorption rate is 
point one seven in last year it's point eight so there was no change in that so let's kind of look at uh, as a whole of Bell County and, and look at that Bell County housing report so um, the sweet spot of the bat still in that higher number of the 200 to the two, uh, 299,999. Uh, you're at 40% of the homes were sold there. Now the next closest number is anything that in 100 grand to 200 grand and that's 29.6%. So 15% of the houses sold were in the 300 to 300, uh, 400,000. Let's just kind of round it up there. Okay, so that is uh, how the prices were uh, dis uh, distributed um, in, in the range there. The medium price is 230. So Colleen is on a lower end, not by much, um, and Co uh, Harker Heights is in a higher end, um, by quite a bit actually. Um, so the medium price is 230. And compared to 2020, that's an increase of 13.9%. Uh, Let's just round it up to cowboy math of 14%. So active listings, um, they were down 15.1%. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, if you watch some other reports, you're gonna see why that is. Uh, for 372 units were sold in sept uh, September uh, 21. Um, and then the closed sales is up 18% um, at 732 units. So you're kind of going, Bill, um, how's that happening? I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of units are moving almost with no days on market. And so that's kind of throws some of those numbers off. Uh, so let's go with days on market, um, days on the market are 22 again much longer than uh, any of the houses we sell uh, we, we we get them uh, marketed and done pretty quick we price them you know so that they get sold pretty quick um, as opposed to just sitting on the market for 22 days almost a month for days on uh, for it to actually close or 36 now uh, again um, clean and Harker Heights are below those numbers of 58 is the is a total 18, uh, 19 days uh, less uh, for the county, but again, uh, much smaller numbers when we're dealing with heights in, in Colleen. So again, the absorption rate or months on the inventory is, is still less than a month uh, in Bell County as a whole. So those are the uh, market report that uh, uh, of September. Just wanted to get those numbers out. Um, Again, feel free to give me a call. My team and I would love to talk to you about your real estate goals. Or if you just have general questions, maybe you want to know what's going on in uh, Milan County or, or uh, uh, Salado or even your subdivision. I do not mind talking to you. So give me a call. It is 254-495-5661. And I'm your Keller Williams agent for the Central Texas area, meaning that anything in McLennan and we have offices in Waco we have offices in Colleen so the greater Fort Hood area I'm talking to people in Land Passes I'm talking to people in Whitney we're here to help you any of the counties that touch those counties too we we service we do farm and ranch and we'll talk to you about commercial um, so if you have any questions or any goals about real estate reach out to us we look forward to talking to you soon bye now